wrestling fans, last Monday Night at Raw was the draft. It's okay, nothing spectacular, no surprises. But from my opinion, I think the WWE should just get rid of it completely. There's no reason for it. I tell you why. Um, the first pick of the night was John Cena go to ship to SmackDown. And later on in the evening, he went back to Raw. See, it's stupid, pointless. I guess WWE don't give a darn about the freaking draft. It's pointless. So I hopefully in the future they get rid of it. I know they want to shake things up. But um, like maybe six months or a year or sooner, um, uh, the same guys who's on uh, the new brand, they like to switch. And the announcers don't see nothing. But it's pointless. The whole draft is bullcrap. But if you're, there, if you're there live, it's awesome to see live. But on TV it's very boring. It's the same stuff. But when they debuted, I think like 02, it was awesome, something different, but I think the reason WWE do that, I give you two reasons. They want to shake things up and they want to copy off the NFL. I know the NFL is a three-day event, but still, it's a draft, you know what I'm saying? It's just a different version. But now I am going to talk about the Extreme Rules pay-per-view from last night. That pay-per-view was off the chain, very great matches, awesome promos. Great pyro. I think they have pyro. I don't remember. But the opening, the, the pay-per-view, the CM Punk versus Randy Orton. Last man in standing match. Awesome. Unbelievable. I thought it would be like a 15-minute match and it would be over. You know, like last year, the duct tape with Batista and uh, um, John Cena. That match is okay, you know. But this is a better match. But anyway, um, I was picking for CM Punk to win. But... Um, Randy Orton won. The reason that CM Punk lost is because his contract's going to expire. I don't know if it expired last night or tonight. And I heard reports he wants to go back to ROH. That's fine. But I know a lot of wrestling fans, you know, especially WWE fans, will be upset like I was. Because when he first debuted in the WWE, he came a long way. He was in a, you know, the ECW brand, you know, the WWE version. He did a. He came a long way. He was a um, um, uh, ECW champion. Then he got you know, drafted to Raw, and I think he, at first he was tag team champion with Kofi Kingston. Then later on, he was IC champion, Money in Bank. I'm not going in any order, but two time Money in Bank. He came a long way, so he pays his dues for this company. You never know, he might come back in the near future. You never know, wrestling fans, you never know. You can't believe any rumor sites. You can't believe that kind of stuff. You gotta, you gotta see it to believe it, you know? Anyway, um, next match. Uh, this match is great, from my opinion. Uh, Sheamus versus uh, Kobe Kingston. United States Championship in a, a table match. Awesome match. I thought it would be longer, but overall, good match. I'm really su surprised that Kofi... Bring the belt back to Raw. Great match. I cannot wait to get that on DVD or Blu-ray. If they're going to have it on Blu-ray, hopefully. Now, the next match, the Divas match, is okay. We all knew what's going to happen because Michelle McCool announced it this past Friday. Or everybody found out the spoilers. That's why I hate about freaking spoilers. Now, the original plan was Michelle McCool was going to... Uh, go the the loser leaves. Well, let me rephrase that. The loser will go to um, I think um, go to the raw. I think and then they change it. The loser leaves the lead. So they change it, and the Michelle McCool lost. Now the reason she lost because she wants to help her husband, A.K. the Undertaker, because too many injuries, and she will come back. I think, or she wants to want to um. Go back to teaching. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Then, but the cool part was, or awesome. Speaking of awesome, actually, it was awesome Kong or AKA the new WWE name was. I cannot pronounce it, but you guys don't want to talk about. I hopefully she'll make her debut on Raw tonight or on uh, SmackDown um, this Friday. I uh, hopefully she's on SmackDown because if she's on Raw tonight, there's nobody there. Maybe Gail Kim. She's used to be in TNA, but. 
Oh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, they have no bonus match was okay. The tag team title match, um, you know, like, um, uh, um, uh, whatever they call it. I can't, I can't think of my top of my head, but the tag team match was very boring. They just want to waste time for the main events. That's how they do that. They can do that for the next pay-per-view, probably, over the limit. In the next pay-per-view, until they get to SummerSlam. But, speaking of over the limit, one of my friends from YouTube, Edge is the best one. We'll be there live in Living Color. Hope you have fun. Hope you take a live video like I did when I went to Raw. The last Raw before WrestleMania 27. If nobody has not seen it, it's a four-parter. It's awesome. That's the first time I did a live reaction video or road trip to Raw. So awesome. So if nobody has never been to Raw, I recommend you go to, go to a Raw. It's awesome. Now, um, now I heard reports... Probably it's really true about Scott Hall is very sick. He was out of the hospital recently and he don't get no more help. Um, Kevin Nash and HBK trying to make him, you know, give him help and he don't want it. So I don't know. I hopefully he'll, he'll get out of this and, and make a great recovery. Because he, he came a long way. WWE, um, WCW, TNA, and I don't know if WWE, WWE is ever going to put him in the Hall of Fame. Comment down below if you think he will ever be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know. That's a big question. Now, um, the main event for the Extreme Rules, Triple Threat, the W title match. It was awesome. Spectacular. But one problem. John Cena is a 10-time world champion. Really, W? Really? They can't get a John Morrison for the first time? Or let the Miz keep the belt? I think the reason W let John Cena because tonight, is the Rock's birthday, so they want to continue with this storyline for WrestleMania 28 in Miami. And they'll be in Miami tonight. So, that was a good match. Probably The Miz wants another rematch for the Over the Limit. We know, how, we know, how, you know how heels are. Now, the match I really love, besides the Kane match, was the, was the ladder match between Christian and The Real. Great match. Back forth match action. And that big, big dude, I forgot what, Blaze. Play, I think, you know, help the Rio out. I think like, before the before the pivot was over, um, Edge go hung to horn in in the track the Rio and Christian become the new world champion. Now my question for you, wrestling gurus, how long do you think Christian will keep the belt? Do you think uh, a couple weeks? The next pay per view, um, the next you know, pay per view in June, they renamed it. Well, Money in Bank, or do you think he'll last summertime? I like to see him get a nice title run like um, Kane did uh, last fall, you know? You never know, but the W, you never know. I like Christian, but he's not going to be as good as Edge, you know? I don't think he's ever going to be in the Hall of Fame. Maybe, like Edge and Christian, like, you know, the best tag team ever in the wrestling business. Now, um, I got a pickup to show you, and I got more discussions, and, uh, and that will be it for the video. Here it is, see? I recently picked this up over the weekend. I saw this in my local store. I don't know if you can find this in your bookstore. It tells you every result and every, you know, title holder, every wrestling company is in this book. I'm not joking. It's awesome. Now, it's no pictures. It just, maybe some pictures, but it mostly writing. So I'm just going to show you a little preview. Maybe you want to pick it up for yourself. See, there's a little, um, you know who that is, right, guys? Anybody? Flash, um, Jack Br Br Brookhouse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about baseball. But you know guys know what I'm talking about. I cannot pronounce his last name, but he's who it used to be with the Vince, you know, his uh, cronies back then, you know? See, look at that. Great pictures, you know? But I'm not going too much detail, but it just tells you a lot of who one by... One from and location, a year, so it's kind of cool. It tells you the pay per views even when I went to WrestleMania 20. And it also tells you Chris Paul Walls in the book. I'm not joking. Chris Paul Walls actually in the, in the book. No joke. Now, um, now tonight, I, I mentioned that a few minutes ago. Tonight is The Rock's birthday. They're probably the Pimble Champion. 
I hopefully see Jonathan Coachman make a one appearance because his new job is on ESPN. He does a great job on it on ESPN. If you guys are sports lovers, but anyway, um, I heard reports that TNA let Mick Foley go tonight on Raw, but WWE denies it. Crap! I like to see Rock and Sock connection reunite for one night only, not to a fight, just like a um, a promo or a um, speech, you know, something like that. You know, we might see some, you know, hopefully see some epic. Um, stuff for the Rock, Rawls, excuse me, for the Rock's birthday tonight. And pretty soon, WrestleMania 27 will be on Blu-ray and DVD form. I cannot wait to get that. That's going to be off the chain. Because I want to see the whole, the whole thing of the 2011 Hall of Fame class. I only saw some of it when it was on USA, not the whole show, the bullcrap. I don't know why they got to cut it. Man, because the USA don't have enough airtime, but that's bullcrap. Now, how do you guys feel about Tough Enough so far? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's better than NXT. I think NXT, should they just get rid of it too. Just like the draft. Anyway, you guys enjoy Raw tonight. And Boston fan, you got you awesome. I love your, your latest video when you went to Raw last week. Now I have description. Two links in the description box. Alex is the best one. You know, Edge is the best one, and Boston fan. So check those two links out. I'm out of here for the most electrified man on Facebook and YouTube. I'm out of here, and you enjoy Raw tonight. Woo!